Hello everybody, welcome to episode 1 of my hardcore combat only speedrun playthrough. This was an event only game mode, I managed to find a mod that re-enables it. I'm doing some stuff on my other characters right now where I, I have to let them sit for a few hours every day doing certain things, so I kind of wanted something I could actively play. So if you don't know what this is, essentially it's normal hardcore, you know, you lose your character if you die. But all of the skills other than the combat skills and alt magic are locked. The main thing the speedrun changes is that all combat intervals are reduced by 80%. So if I go in here and fight this plant here, you can see that it goes by really fast. I tried to do hardcore combat only on a normal hardcore count, but it was just so slow. I just didn't have the time to sit and babysit it for two hours and make like no progress. Oh, and also because it's hardcore, you have no natural hit point regeneration. You can only restore health by eating. But for right now, my main goal is just to try and level up my defense. I'm going to let this run here. I'm going to obviously watch it. And then as soon, if, if I get down to half, I'll run away and heal up. I do have a pretty decent plan moving forward, at least for the first little bit here. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here and watch this until I get to the point I want to be at. And I'll check back in. Okay, so I've been running this for about 30 minutes now. I managed to get my defense up to level 15. And I started working on attack and strength. So I've got them both up to 5, I'm training strength right now. My character's name is Lil Badass. If you can let me know in the comments what I'm referencing with that, then I'll shout you out in the next video I record. I've built up a decent amount of potatoes for healing. I think what I'm going to try and do now is heal up and then if you go to the Goblin Village and look at these gold- or sorry, Golden Village and look at these Goldens, they can drop a shield and a battle axe, so I want these. So I'm gonna hover over the run button here just in case. There's the shield. If I get down to half, I'm going to run. Obviously, my first goal is just to gear up. But my first main goal is to get a million gold so that I can buy auto eat tier 1. Because obviously, right now, I can't afford to idle anything. It's too big of a risk. Even the plants will kill me if I'm not careful. But this should give me a decent defense bonus. It'll help with my evasion slightly. Okay, there it is. That's pretty lucky. So this is pretty good. Other than for training attack, but... Increases my melee strength by a lot. Um, obviously max hit 42 with block is 35. That's way higher than it was. My next step is probably going to be grinding out plants or chickens. I need to get up my combat level so I can fight these zombie hands here. Because they can drop some bronze and iron armor. Which would be really good to get. Just for the extra little bit of evasion. Just try not to take too many risks. I would not like to lose progress. Also makes my attack interval a little bit faster. Which is the main reason I wanted it. The buffs are okay, I mean it's not great obviously. So about another 20 minutes later on this, I've managed to, I had to grind out attack to level 15, strength to level 15, and defense to level 21 to finally hit level 20 hit points. I swapped over to these chickens just because they have higher health, so that means I can get more XP per kill. Also because they dropped these feathers, obviously I can't use them, but for me right now this is pretty decent money. I think now I'm going to try to swap over to cows, I think I should be able to handle cows. These guys definitely do hit a little harder. They could definitely kill me pretty easily if I'm not paying attention. Oh, and I managed to get up enough gold, so I went ahead and bought 10 extra bank slots. I know some people like to do this challenge with only having the base 12 bank slots, but I just... There's already enough constraints on this to make it interesting, and I feel like managing my space like that wouldn't be really fun to me. So yeah, I'm just going to keep banging away on these cows. I'm going back to plants if I need more healing items. I built up a decent amount of potatoes here. So I should be good for a little bit on that. And I'll get back to you if anything changes. So about another 30 minutes have gone by. Um, my main goal was to get hit points up to 25 by just leveling up these and focusing on defense. Uh, when I got hit points up to 25, I was at level 28 defense. So I just pushed it up to 30. Now this leather is worth a lot on its own, but I did this on my adventure character. You can go here and you can upgrade all the leather that you have to green dragon hide and then sell the green dragon hide and you make a lot more money this way you're basically doubling your gold so i'm up to 80k now which is pretty good i guess i'll go ahead and clear out all this shit and block these have a three percent chance to hit i was hoping to get to the point where i could just idle these overnight because to be honest i don't really have much time tonight to work on this all right so this is the next day this is the point i got to last night um i got the chance to hit down to two percent but couldn't really get it down any farther. 
Right now I'm just going to kill these guys for a little bit to get some food, but because you have a bunch of green dragon hide and some leather in my bank. Uh, I killed a bunch of cows last night and went ahead and upgraded them, so this is worth a lot of money. I can probably pretty easily get to my million gold with this for auto eat, which means I probably don't have to level up enough to get these guys down to 0% before I can let this run. The main problem is just getting enough food, because you know, these only heal 3 HP. With my current gear, there's nothing I can really get food from other than this. You can see I also have some prayer points. I did bury some bones and decided to level up prayer a couple times. Use cheese into melee evasion. Make it easier to kill those cows. See, I'm just going to sit here and collect food a little bit. And then go back to cows. So you'll see me in a second. Okay, so I've been letting this go while I ate my dinner. I got defense up to level 40, strength to level 30, attack level 30, and hit points level 35. Uh, I think I'm going to try... I'm going to try to fight these. Because they can drop some armor. I'm going to hover my finger over the run button. They can do a large amount of damage. Yeah, I got uh pretty lucky with those drops, actually. So I got some of this stuff. It was very nice for our melee defense. It takes so long to heal up just holding down on this. I could probably see about fighting the Still Knight. How much damage do you do? Low chance to hit. I can kill these. Yeah, this isn't hard at all. There we go. Okay, I got the Steel Semi and some Steel Boots. Good progress. Yeah, these aren't hard to kill. I feel pretty comfortable fighting these. I do attack a lot faster now with this semi. So I just need the pants and the plate body now. I'm going to sit here and grind these until I get that. I completely forgot about these guys. Honestly, I probably could have killed this guy a lot sooner than the zombie. It's the same deal, basically. I'm just going to run when I get below half. Heal up and then go back in. I'm just trying to play safe and not take too many risks. I know I've only put like four or five hours into this account so far, but I would rather not restart. Okay, there's a plate body. Very nice. So I'm pretty well decently geared now the main problem is getting gloves um not many things drop gloves i don't believe if you do know an enemy that can drop gloves i know in the um in the arid plains these archers yeah they are archers drop desert wrappings which do give some damage reduction and then holy isles you got the paladins but obviously these are both like pretty far away i'm gonna try to do these black knights now see if i can handle these oh yeah i can handle these yeah the main annoyance right now is just how long it takes to heal so yeah, I'm just going to grind these out a little bit. I'll get back to you once I have all the black gear. Hey, been sitting with this for another 30 minutes. I managed to kill a bunch of mithril knights. I decided to swap over to those because they had a higher drop rate for their armor. Um, they were a little harder. There was a couple of close calls in there where I almost died. But I managed to get pretty much the full set minus the plate body. And I did find this mithril sword. Uh, I don't really have a shield right now. I found this uh, black two-handed sword. Since I'm trying to focus on defense right now anyway, this is pretty helpful. The sword does a lot of damage too. Most of the time I two-shot these cows. Yeah, so I'm just trying to train up defense. I managed with the armor and everything. Um, probably if I have a shield, had a shield, it would go over. But the plants are down to 1% now, so that's good progress there. I'm just back to cows because I think I should focus on trying to make money right now. Because I got pretty decent gear set up for where I am. Yeah, I'm probably going to sit on cows for a bit. Obviously the start is going to be slow. I don't really have that many options for doing things right now, but it should open up later. Yeah, this is going to be a series on the channel, my first series on here. I'll try to upload three of these a week and that'll go on until I defeat Into the Mist or until I die. It's going to be hard without potions or summoning, that's for sure. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. I've been Captain Blemo and I'll see you next time. Peace.